Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today is a special video as it is launching um, a new series of mine. Um, I know I have a lot of new series coming out at the moment, but um, yeah, this one will only be for the meantime and possibly for years to come. So, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but I do play um, AFL football on Stanford Juniors uh, for the Brighton Bombers. Um, and yeah, essentially, AFL football is. Aussie Rules Footy, Australian Football League. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. I play for the Brown Bombers, and we have a, an amazing story. Um, there's a song made about our team from one of our teammates. Um, yeah, and I made a video on that before called Bombers Time. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, yeah. But without further ado, uh, let's get straight into today's video. So each. Uh, round, I'm going to be doing a round review, round report, um, of each round, we have two teams, one in Div 5 and one in Div 1, Div 5 is reserved for Div 1, which is better than Div 2, but not as good as Div 1, but we do have players rotating throughout the both teams, Div 1 can drop down, Div 2 can go up, um, yeah, you can play both games on the same day, so, um, yeah, we normally play on Sundays, um, or Friday nights, so, yeah, here we go, uh, I'm in the... Uh, Div 5 team, the yellows, um, Div 1 is blacks, um, and I'm captain, co-captain of the Div 5 team, so yeah, great opportunity, it's really fun, it's a great learning experience too, it's good to kind of captain the boys out there, and um, have great fun on the field and improve your footy skills, so yeah, these are the round reports, so, uh, round 1 report, yellows, kicked 14, 19, 103, defeated Tea Tree Gully, black, 033. The Yellows travelled to Tea Tree Gully early Sunday morning. After a tight and scrappy first border, we came in two points to one point up. We then blew the game wide open with our strength at contest and skills at speed in the second quarter, kicking 6 7 to 0 0. Tom Dermody showed his class, kicking four goals himself in the quarter. From then on, the boys played the game on their terms. Most ball performances were Indio Tan's work in mids and back, delivering smart ball forward. Jake Parrish for his streaks and body work in the contest, Harry Bailey with three goals in his 100th game, and Liam Chambers two goals in his debut up for doing everything Glenn asked of him. Glenn's our coach. We would also like to acknowledge Sam Whitworth Smith's strong game, game both forward and in Iraq in his 100th game. Congratulations, Sam. It was an outstanding team effort all round, and as Glenn said at the end of the game, every one of the three things I asked you to do gets a tick. It was also great to see a full crew of parents and even grandparents make the trip to Tea Tree Gully. It was a great all-round team performance. Best players. Indio Tan, Tom Dermody, Harry Bailey, Liam Chambers, Jake Samuel, Archie Haywood. Blacks, 5-8-38, defeated Walkerville Blue, 5-6-36. The Blacks played Walkerville at home in, for many, our first taste of Div 1. First quarter was scrappy, but our skills asserted the quarter time 2-2 two, two, to 0-1 up. Second quarter, I got a bit confident and made positional moves to get players off interchange for the game. This is our coach. Unfortunately, this opened the game up for Walker, who also started working hard through midfield run. He got lost and did not move the ball with the confidence we did in the first. Third, some more changes to find our spark, but Walkerville continued their dominance. However, late we went back to our opening lineup and stopped Walkerville's momentum, but could not score. Three quarter time, 2-4 to 5-2 down, we spoke about Walkerville's strong aggression towards us. We challenged each other, it was time we stopped being pushed around. The boys dug really deep against a side that was bigger and up until then more physical. How proud we were in their fight back, not giving in and keeping on driving the ball forward time after time. What a great moment when Archie Haywood took responsibility for his team marking and playing on 35 metres out, snagging the goal to put us in front. When the siren went to see all the injured players and yellows at the game run on the field to celebrate was something special to witness. In a game where every player made a contribution to the result, we do need to acknowledge the extreme efforts of Archie Rue Rayfit for his continual fight and setting the example as captain of the game, and Henry McKinnon's effort across all quarters in multiple positions. Best players Archie Rue Ray, Henry McKinnon, Lucas Camparelli, Hendricks Lorna, Ben Camparelli. Now, personally, I believe I played okay. Um, Definitely not the best, not to my full potential, I'd say, especially because of the fact that it was our first game back, especially from COVID-19, and we're just like dusting off the cobwebs, especially in that first quarter, the entire team was, that's for sure, that's why um, 
the scores were very tight and it was very low um, and no one kicked a goal in that first turn so yeah um, I think I played okay though I played some positions around the field I played mostly uh, wing and forward and yeah, I might have played one quarter in defense but uh, yeah I mean like that's what it is we all contributed great game and it was our biggest win from the two teams combined for the past two years as well plus this year which would be three years so yeah 100 point win for the 200 gamers so great win first game as captain absolutely loved it um yeah as co-captain so that was amazing yeah great opportunity and uh yeah that's round one right there so there you go guys um there's the round one report we'll have quite a few of these videos coming out um in the coming weeks as we have already played seven rounds since the season and it's normally i think 16 or 14 rounds in the season because of covid rules uh season shortened to 12 rounds so we're pretty much halfway through the season now uh yeah so i'll try and smash this out but otherwise than that it'll normally be about one a week so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video um go check out the whole bomb brian bomber story um yeah leave a like on this video if you did enjoy and subscribe to the kenobi crew um, yeah, see you guys in the next video.